Hey guys, what's good? And today I'm playing Eyeless Jack. Now, apparently the story of this centers around me and my bro moving into a haunted house, basically. Two idiots, but okay, fine. What's the worst that could happen moving into a foreclosed Hello. house? My name is Mitch. I'm here to tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. Okay, Mitch. I have no idea if it was paranormal whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. I'm loving the but Eastern I European this, accent. I started to believe in it. I started to believe it. What? Oh my god. Well, those are my last things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Of course. Ah, so this is my bro. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. It is getting cold, comrade. We must move it inside. Ah, okay. So this is the house we're moving into. And these are our boxes. All right. Don't worry. I'll do all the work. Bro. I'll just put it in here. Bro. Nope, this is the bathroom. Oi, I'm a bad boy. Look at my posters. I've got cars. No girls, but you know, maybe I don't swing that way in this game. And that's fine. That is completely fine. And my brother is just standing there being useless. Again. Right, so when it comes to haunted ho- I saw that. I saw that, right? When it comes to hunt- Oh my god, don't- 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 Don't do that, bro. Oh, you were giving it to me to take, huh? Okay, well, haunted house horror games are always sort of cut from the same cloth. So how is this game going to be any different? What's going to be the unique scare factor here? I don't know. Oh, I don't want to go in there with him. Can I leave? Nope. Uh, okay. Also, isn't it illegal to squat in a house that's foreclosed? Or can you do that in the United States? I don't know. You started smoking, huh? Yeah, bro, I'm a cool kid. Yeah, man. Oh, thanks. I don't smoke. Oh. Why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. Okay, my friend. It's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty tired. All right. Good night, then. That was the most brotherly conversation ever. We spoke about nothing and barely acknowledged each other. Very realistic. I love it. I'm sleeping at probably looks like 7 p.m. Because I'm a cool dude like that. One twelve a.m. Am I waking up for like some food? Or... Hmm. Nope. I went back to bed. I just woke up just to check. I left my window open, which is a big no-no for me. But okay. Hello, Twa. <laughs> Hello, brother. Good morning. Hey, man. Did you sleep well? Yeah, not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside, but I guess it was just a raccoon or something. Definitely just a raccoon. Yeah, I agree. That's most likely it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I will make breakfast in the meantime. I swear, you're just gonna make cereal, and then I'm gonna do all the hard work. Wait, so if this house is foreclosed, then there's no running water, there's no electricity. And we're cool with that. Alright. Yes. I just touch the rake on the leaves and they disappear. And you go, and you go. And you go. Hmm. Uh, the ominous music dropped, but I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but it's probably just a raccoon. And that's it. Oh, one more. And done. All right, can I put the rake down now? No? I want to take it with me? Nope. Okay. You fried one egg and cut bread. You are just the best. Just in time. I cooked some eggs. Yeah. Yeah, you... You did that. You definitely did that.
just after before 1 a.m cool oh i'm actually up this time hello yes close the window jeez wait what was that i heard something hmm. can i not do anything can i just go back to bed okay I definitely saw something though. I'm not going insane. We're not alone here. What's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the mirror. What are you talking about? What do you mean take a look in the mirror? Okay. I don't like that at all hmm. it seems like you've been sleepwalking Mitch I have no other explanation for that thank you doctor that's strange indeed but there is something more disturbing than this gash what you somehow lost your kidney last night what and I didn't wake up w what Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. I'm sorry, Mitch. Well, that, this isn't helpful to me. Wait, so the monster came into my room and took my kidney? And for good measure, cut me as well? Jesus, your neck is mad. Uh, I'm out. Thanks for nothing. Useless Before prick. You go, could you please sign this paper? <laughs> Take care, Mitch. Thank you for nothing. Thank you. Dickhead. Huh. So the monster took my kidneys. The heck? Huh. Hey, my smoker, bro. You, go? he thinks I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. I don't know. It's all fucked up. It's all effed up, mate. Anyway, take this key. It belongs to your room. Sure. And Mitch. Yes. If there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. Thank you. Thanks, Edwin. I mean, the only logical explanation is that you drugged me and took my kidney. I mean, but we're brothers, so it's cool, right? Can I lock my door? Can I do anything? Nope. Okay. To bed we go again. 12.05 a.m. Hmm. I didn't see anything that time. Camera! Camera! You guys are not gonna believe this. Run. Just run and don't look back. No, something's behind me. Uh, give me the good news. That you only had minor injuries and your parents are going to pick you up. However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was from there. Well, I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Thank you for giving it to me straight, Doc. What? Why did the monster kill him and spare me? I guess my parents are here to take me away now. Um, hmm. Why I didn't mention anything was I was there that something killed him and tried to kill me. Don't know. Why me and my brother were living in a... F uh, mom? Dad? I don't want to talk 
<laughs> Guys, there's something you should maybe see. Like, nope, I'm just gonna leave. Are you okay, son? What do you think, Dad? You. Yeah, I'm okay, Dad. Is that my kidney? Is that the end? Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus. I don't really know what to think about that game. I liked it in the sense that it was fun to play, but I don't understand the plot. Like, why did the monster kill Edwin but spare me? Where's the logic? I think I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 because I, I like... Mm. Wait, scratch that. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. Very good game overall, but I'm still kind of confused what the actual plot was. But yeah, let me know what you think. What, did I miss something with this game? Or maybe I'm not clever enough, I don't know. But yeah, eyeless Jack in a bit, peace.